Hi everyone, this is Brad. Today we're going to take a Google Sheet and create a spelling test that is self-grading for your students using Sheets and Google Classroom. So, what I'd recommend, go ahead into Sheets and then make this as large as you like. Make your rows as large as you like as well. I'd recommend keeping B and C or more if you're doing a spelling inventory. If you want to remove some columns, what you want to do is you want to select the first one. In this example, it's going to be D. Scroll over. We're now going to hold on to Shift. We are then going to right click and we're going to delete columns D through Z. You can also do the same for the numbers you'd like to remove from here. Just select the first one. Scroll all the way down. I'd pull that down. Select Shift. Right click. And then you want to delete rows 22 to 100. So your students would only see this in here. Now, I made a sample one. And in this one, this is where the students are going to type it in. This is the correct spelling word. Now, over here, this is going to be your specific uh, formula. So I'll include this formula if you'd like to use it. There are tons of formulas. You can always look it up in ChatGPT2 for a little bit of assistance. And then at the bottom, because this is out of 20 words, you're going to see right in here, here's a formula for how many correct. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create a, an assignment in Google Classroom. So we're just going to call this sample. I'm going to go directly from Drive, and I'm going to find this example. So this sample spelling. I'll select Add. And now you have to make sure that the students, it makes a copy for each student. Because the biggest thing you want to do is you want to make sure B and C, you right click and you hide them. Because this is what your students will see once it's sent on. So you're making a copy, an exact copy of what we're seeing right here. So I'll show you what it looks like from a student point of view. Okay, so from a student point of view, I'm gonna go ahead in and I'm gonna select right up in here. Once I do that, the student can then go ahead in and fill the words in and you can see they don't see B or C. Now, of course, students could right click and unhide the columns. That is up to you how you want to proceed with this um, but again that is something they technically could do i just wanted to point that out i'll show you what it looks like then once i fill this out okay so the student just filled that out they're going to turn it in and then i'll show you what it looks like now from a teacher point of view the specific one so we're going into sample we're going to go in and we're going to view the assignment so here's the sample test you can see it's right in here i'm going to right click and now I'm going to unhide columns, and you can see, there you have it, and all the words are spelled correctly. And then to print it out, just do Control P, Landscape, Fit to Page, hit Next, and print it out. So there you go. Just one way you can do it. If you have any questions, please reach out. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.